Hey y'all, so here is a shea butter leave-in conditioner using some other leave-ins that I only have a little bit of. I have the Miley and Maui Moisture. For oils, I'm going to be using only two oils. We have sweet almond oil and jojoba oil. So starting my at-home double boiler with a pot of water and stainless steel bowl going on top. This is the raw shea butter. It's very hard. I purchased this product through Amazon.com, by the way. But yeah, just showing you how hard the product is. Now, I'm going to use about one cup of the shea butter excuse me, to one cup of the leave-in conditioners. Um, I don't want this to melt. It's really hard to put into words what I'm going to do because you're going to see it. See how it's only melting a little bit? And then I'm going to start to mix it to get it very creamy. And I'm going to place it in the freezer about two about two times. I don't want it to freeze all the way. Normally when I make my buttercream, I want it very, very frozen to get it um, fluffy. So beating it until it's a creamy mixture, almost like icing. This is the consistency. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the leave-in conditioners. Like I said, about a cup between both of those. Um, and I'm going to mix this for quite a long time, you guys, because the longer you mix it, the creamier it becomes because of the air being mixed into the product itself. So as far as oils go, I did about half a tablespoon of the jojoba oil to one tablespoon. Oh, sorry for that. To one tablespoon of the sweet almond oil. Only using two oils. You can add whatever oils that you prefer. And this is the consistency. Placing it back in the Maui moisture container there. Um, yeah, this is the consistency. And let's just go ahead and see how it works on my hair. Revealed. <laughs> I'm here today to demonstrate how I um, moisturize my hair with the DIY um, leave-in conditioner. So I'm going to go ahead and section my hair off to make it easier. Okay. Like I think most of us do. They're gone. Another bobby pin. So I use the liquid cream oil method for moisturizing my hair, which I'm pretty sure most of you do. It's great for those of us who are low porosity. And then it's basically the liquid the cream, and then I have a hair oil mixture, hair oil mixture, excuse me, in this applicator drawer right here. Now I did warm up the water, and warming up the water basically, um, when you spray it on your hair, hair, it allows the cuticles to expand to open up, which I'm pretty sure most of us know. Um, I still today, and I'm, I'm gonna talk a little bit why while, while I do this. I still today, just recently as yesterday, I saw a comment from a couple of people who say that. Their hair is so dry, it's brittle, um, and they, they can never get their hair dry or more, excuse me, moisturized. When you are having some issues with your hair retaining moisture, it could be a number of things. What I notice primarily is that people are using the wrong products and they are not layering their products. When you are texture, four type texture, it is crucial, really important that you do two things. Layer your products and use their correct products and you may have to play around I mean you'll have to figure out what works best for you um, but you definitely want to make sure that the first product that you apply is a water-based leave-in or water itself because the water is what's going to help moisturize your hair and next I'm going to add my cream Yeah, I saw a young lady who wrote that, you know, she uses oil and water and her hair is still dry. There was nothing in there about cream down. Okay, so I have it be leaving in my hair and I'm just going to smooth it from root to end. And since I have thick hair, I like to go through. It may seem like I'm finger detangling, but really I'm trying to smooth that product in, okay? And all I do is retwist. Now I know some of you are allergic to shea butter or perhaps you know shea butter doesn't work well on your hair. There are other types of butters that you can use. Mango butter, kappa, 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 sua butter, coconut butter is another one. Um, with my son's hair, since he is high porosity, I literally lay on the products. I mean, it may seem a lot, but 
again, since he's high porosity, his hair can handle that amount of product. He doesn't get any buildup, anything like that. So sometimes I'll, of course, I'll start with liquid. I'll add a liquid, I'll add shea butter, I'll add a leave-in, I'll add an oil. I'll do water again, you know, cause I wanna make sure that his hair is properly moisturized. I think there's another method called LCOS, so LCOC, yeah. You know, I've been doing this to my hair before I even knew it was a method. Um, again, with the leave-in. And some of that fell through, but that's okay. Now, as it gets cooler here in Phoenix, I will probably have to re-moisturize my hair a lot more, but it should be okay. I'm gonna apply a little bit more leave-in towards the end of my hair. Now, the reason why you haven't seen me use the oil as of now is because I typically like to wait until I, um, at least for me personally, I like to wait until my hair is all twisted up and then I like to apply the oil and I'll show you how I do that just now. And just a little bit of oil. And in this oil mixture I have a uh, rosemary in it all right so maybe i'll do one more section for you guys <laughs> guys so that's just those three sections I wanted to show you a front a side and a back now let me unravel this side so you can see what it looks like um do you see that um now, re now remoisturizing your hair can depend on a, on a number of things. It can depend on your porosity. It can depend on your density, your hair texture. It can even depend on where you at. You guys, I live in Phoenix, Arizona. I came from just last week, Dallas, where it was, some day it was 83% humid. Today here in Phoenix, I think it was like 35. That is a big difference. It is very dry here. This is what this twist looked like. See how juicy and Moisturize that looks okay. I'm not gonna unravel this. Well, I'll, since y'all insist, do you see that? And yeah, it's still kind of damp, but um, I will probably not need to remoisturize for another four or five days, okay. All right, so that is it, you guys. I hope you like this. Now, I don't have to, I will not have to, um, excuse me, refrigerate this leave in because there's really nothing in there that could go bad now this will last me quite a long time um and i know i will get questions on whether or not you can use this as a styler absolutely you can however personally for me since my hair is is thick i like a i don't know I, I like a thicker styler this is too creamy i want more shea butter less leave-in does that make sense so i would still use the cup of shea butter to half a cup of the leave-in conditioner um and i would use a lot more oils i would also like to say so yes this will depending on how much i use this will last me quite a bit so that is it you guys let me know if you have a diy leave-in conditioner that you use um and i hope that you check this recipe out thank you so much for watching and thank you as always to all of my subscribers take care bye